Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, I just want to give a big thank you to my loyal fans, as well as my most recent supporters. Now I've been posting more frequently, I've noticed that my subs have been growing 1-2 to two per day. I know this might not be a lot to many other YouTubers, but I can say for myself, from the bottom of my heart, it truly means the world to see you guys supporting my channel and subscribing. So with that being said, if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Sorry, my throat's a bit dry. Had to, this is like my fourth time recording this video. The first time that I noticed that my neighbor was mowing their lawn. The second time I realized that I was chewing some gum after I had to refilm the first time. The third time there was some lens flare coming in from the sun on my window. So hopefully the fourth time works out. If you would have seen on my channel, I recommended five different shoes that are essential for your wardrobe. One of them being the Common Projects Achilles Low. I just want to give an updated review on the Common Projects just because I've had them for a year and if there's only one shoe from that list, it would be those ones that I'd recommend to you guys to buy. So last year in Vegas, I purchased these shoes at Barney's for about 400 US dollars. Probably the best money that I spent in Vegas just because the rest of it I lost gambling. But the trip was fun nonetheless and as a matter of fact, I'm going back to Vegas at the end of this year. So. Keep your eyes peeled on my channel for another lit vlog. Okay, enough dilly-dallying, let's get on to this review. So as mentioned earlier, these are some of the most versatile shoes that I own in my wardrobe. Actually, these are the most versatile shoes that I own. I pretty much wear them every single day, and even though I own many different pairs of shoes, I've always gravitated towards my common projects, just because you can wear them in so many different outfits, and that is attributable to the minimal branding on these shoes, as well as white being such a nice neutral color. You can wear them with jeans, track pants, shorts, even a blazer and some chinos to give it a more casual vibe. Definitely from looking at my shoes, you can tell that they are well worn, there's creasing and scuffs, but that is expected after wearing a shoe every day for a year now. Personally, I like the worn in look of a leather shoe, so that's why I'm not afraid wearing them all the time. The dirt accumulated on these shoes is very easy to clean off just because they are leather. So besides the creasing and the scuffing, once you give these a good scrubbing, these are pretty much brand new. I just want to say that I use Jason Mark to clean my shoes, but any other shoe cleaner will do just the job. As a matter of fact, in Barney's, the saleswoman said that I could even use some hand sanitizer and a cloth. So if you don't even have some shoe cleaner, you can use that. So do I recommend these shoes? If it wasn't obvious already, I 100% recommend these shoes. Just like how I stated in my Canada Goose review, sometimes it's more important to invest in higher quality products that will last a longer period of time. Even though these might cost a bit more at first, if you're gonna be wearing these a lot, and I can guarantee that you will want to wear these a lot, that these shoes are definitely worth the price. It is important to note that I have seen these shoes go on sale. I've seen them on sale at Essence or the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. So if you have a keen eye, you'll be able to snipe these shoes for an excellent price. So that'll conclude my review on the Common Projects. Hopefully it helped impact your purchase decision. If you want my opinion on anything else in the future, drop a comment down below and I might make a video on it. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this review, smash that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And like always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.